Let's do it. Sit down. Okay. Hi everyone, it's Jenny from Team Super Awesome Art, and today I am here with Alex, and we got commissioned to do a repaint on a pop. Alex, why don't you go ahead and show them which pop we were asked to repaint. Check it out, guys. It's the 10-inch Incredible Hulk from um, the Thor, Ragn uh, Thor Ragnarok movie. So I'm going to unbox them so you guys can check them out. This is the first time I've ever seen a 10-inch pop, so... Uh, he's really way bigger than I expected, so it's gonna be a really fun repaint. Alright. Oh, I dropped something. It's okay. Grab him, Alex. Check it out, guys! He's so cool! This is the coolest thing ever. He's gonna be a really cool repaint. We're gonna do kind of a distressed paint job on this guy. So, so he, he makes him like more realistic. Yeah, so he'll look a little more realistic than this. Um, he also... I dropped something. He also added a couple things in the box for us. It's the hammer that came with this guy. Show them the hand so they can see where the hammer was. The hand, bro. <laughs> the other hand, bro. There it is. Hold on. The hammer that goes in that hand is this thing right here. And we're going to replace it with a mace. So this is going to go in his hand. So we're going to try and figure out how to do that little bit of a customizing on this pop. And then he also sent us this guy. And originally I thought that it was a custom, but it's going, or I originally I thought he wanted us to customize it, but he just gave it to us. So I think Hutch is gonna repaint this cause this little guy spoke to him. So um, it's gonna be really cool. Super excited for this guy. Please stick around. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and roll some footage of us actually working on this guy. And then at the end of the video, we'll go everything that went into making him. So please stick around for all of that. Alright, so for this pop we did two major changes, one being the paint and then the second was switching the hammer for the mace. Now to replace the hammer, we extended the mace using a wooden dowel, then we added the little plastic mace to the top of the dowel and then glued it together and patched it up with clay. Then we primed our pop. We used Rust-Oleum primer in a gray color and we always do this outside in a very well ventilated area. Then it was on to paint. Now for this commission we were given a picture a lot like the one you see here and that meant that we had to do a total repaint on this pop to give it a more realistic look. To do so Hutch used a technique called dry brushing which he starts with a really dark base color. He then went ahead and started on the teeth. He did this so that he can um, clean up the teeth, get them perfect, and cover them up in order to finish off with the skin. He also adds a dark base color to the helmet. In this case, it's black. This gives the paintwork a really nice dark undertone that you can see through the lighter color on top. He then adds gold to the helmet and he does this using a dry brush technique and the way he does this is he adds a tiny bit of paint to the brush and rubs the very little bit of paint that the paintbrush has on it onto the pop. This allows the black to peek through and it gives it a really weathered, realistic look to the paint job.
bunch of kind of old fuzzies. Uh, metal on here. I'm gonna have to make it up. For the body, he starts with a dark base color, just like the head, using a dark green and black for his armor, and then builds up with lighter colors. He used gold for the metal buckles and then used a brown color for the rest of his clothing. And the reason Hutch likes to use an airbrush is because it gives you a very smooth transition between the dark colors and the light colors. He then went on to add a few more finishing details like the red on the feathers of the helmet, also a few more gold highlights on the helmet to make it really shine. He highlighted the teeth, gave him eyebrows, detailed the eyes, the ears, and highlighted the wrinkles on his face as well. The other thing that wasn't in the video was he added silver to the black on the mace so that it really stands out and looks more like metal. Alright guys, I hope you liked this part of the video. If you guys enjoyed me walking you through the steps, please let me know in the comments below so that I know to continue to do videos like this if you guys do enjoy them and can learn anything from them. Please stick around to the end of this video where I'm going to talk a little bit more about this pop now that it's all finished and give you my thoughts on the finished product. Alright guys, so here he is all finished. It is a 10 inch Hulk Buster and what's really cool about this is we normally work on regular size pops or the standard size pops. So seeing a custom in this size is awesome. Um, like I said in the beginning, this was just a repaint uh, with very little customization. The customizing was just in the mace so we changed out the hammer that came with this pop and added this awesome mace um yeah 
super cool i love the size and i love that this is a bobblehead like normally i don't care very much for bobblehead pops but just the size of it and the size of this head is just awesome because it just looks really cool and i like that it wiggles and i guess like i feel like it being a 10 inch pop his shoulders are wider and it just works better with the bobble head i think i don't know uh, but i like it all right the other thing that what's really cool about this repaint is the metal and the leather look on this pop so uh this one was done by hutch i didn't do this one he takes full credit for this because i did absolutely nothing um besides making this video so he did all the customization on this pop now what's cool about this is like i said the metal looks he tried to get it to look like metal and then also the leather um, in this pop looks a lot like leather too so uh, it's really cool contrast i like that you get this look even though it's gold on gold um, you still get that feeling of leather and uh, metal so that was really cool uh, another thing was this mace is awesome because it's black but he also did kind of a gray coloring to it so it really stands out and gives it a lot of dimension so that was also cool uh he really did do a lot of details to his face so if you can see the eyes have color to them his teeth were all painted on and then what's really cute too is he actually gave his ears um side, some dimension so you can see that there so it looks like an ear which is cool because pop ears um, just come in one color so that was really neat to see or to add to this pop and then of course all the red along here is awesome uh, yeah i really like this guy 10 inch pops are make awesome customs um it's just cool to see one this big customized so that's really neat um yeah oh check out this detail too which is cool what i like about customizing this size is you get to see more of the detail and the detail really stands out so check out all of this work over here all the little details in the leather around his I guess waistband skirt pants thing there so yeah super cool I hope you guys liked watching this video and watching him come together um, let me know if you guys have any questions on any of this. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And as always, guys, subscribe to see more cool stuff from us in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching.